Hi everyone, this is Darcy and today I'm going to do my full review of the Venus device by Even Skin. This device is amazing for the eye area, both the eyelid and the under eye. I have been using this device for a while now, so in this video I'm going to give you my full review, I'm going to show you a tutorial with tips and my thoughts about it. I'm going to be showing a few tutorials for you guys. I'm going to show you a basic tutorial and an advanced tutorial. On the basic tutorial, I'm just going to show you the basic moves, how to do each one according to the actual manual. And on the advanced tutorial, I'm going to show you the technique that I use to get even better results. Technique really makes a difference, especially when you're trying to depuff or eye lift. If you just use the basic moves, yes, you're going to get good results. But I found that as I start using more and more, I start developing more techniques on how to get the best results. And that's what I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. If you want to just jump to the tutorials, you can always look on the timestamps below so you can jump anywhere in this video. All the information about this device, coupon code, as well as links will be on the description box below. Now let's get to it. This video is in partnership with even skin which I'm super excited because I have used other products from even skin before and I love the quality of the products It's really professional I'm really excited to be sharing with you guys my true thoughts about this device as well as tips and how to get the best results this is my before and after for the long-term results from using for a couple of months I have this white line so you can see that my eye is actually aligned in the line and I'm gonna move the line to my eyebrows so you can see how much the eyebrow is actually lifted Another thing I want you to pay attention on the photo is that the skin near the beginning of my eye is more firm and also lifted and my eye is more open and also my under eye wrinkles are a lot more smoothed out and there's no retouching on this photo and I did it the same lighting as you guys can see. I do my the photos with my phone and I don't use any filters or any smoothing settings. As you can see, my pores are still the same size. This is the photo from my other eye and I'm also going to have the line here so you can see that my eyes are aligned. Now I'm going to move the line to my eyebrows so you can see how much it also has lifted. And I also want you to pay attention from the skin on the beginning of my eye as well, how much that has firmed and lifted. And my under eyes are a lot more smoother. My eye also seems more open and the fine lines on near my crow's feet are also a lot smoother. I have been using this on and off for a couple of months and I have been using the advanced techniques I'm going to show you in this video. So I'm really happy with the results I've gotten from the Venus, from smoothing the fine lines, especially in the under eye area. I'm finding that I'm creasing a lot less from concealer. That is something I've noticed. And my uh, lid seems firmer. And I have this little skin on the side of my eyes that I always struggle with it. Whenever I stop any tools or my microcurrent, I get that skin back. And since I'm not using any other tools on that area, the only using the Venus is really helping with that. So if you have like skin that just hangs on your eye, like as you get older, that happens, you're gonna have extra skin there. This really helps to firm that skin up. This does give you a lift and also helps build collagen. So this definitely works guys. And I was very, very impressed with this little device. And I have been using on and off for a while now, just the Venus on my eye area. I feel like it's really firming that skin and making me look more rested, even when I don't have any makeup on. And I really love it. And I can definitely see a difference on the smoothing of the wrinkles as well. But again, you really see more dramatic results if you use it for a long time. And I definitely suggest if you get this device, do a before and after. That way you can see for yourself the progression because collagen takes time to build. And this eye area is so delicate, but it does take time to regenerate. The Venus is very unique because I have a lot of devices, but not all devices can be used on the actual eyelids and the very near your eyes. This is a very unique device because you can use there to build collagen, to iron out the wrinkles, and to also firm the skin of the eyelids. And being somebody that have hooded eyelids, it's really important to have a device like this that is pain-free, it's very relaxing to use. You see immediate results as well as long-term results. I'm going to go over all the features of the Venus and I'm also gonna share with you my experience from using this device and what are the results that I've observed with each feature. Thermo stimulation. By using a temperature of 42 degrees Celsius, this thermo stimulation helps to promote collagen growth, help with absorption of creams and also helps to reduce lines and bags under your eyes. The sonic massage really helps to relax the eye muscle and kind of gives you a Botox effect because it oscillates 12,000 times per minute and that really 
deeply relax the eye muscle. So when you smile, your wrinkles don't look as pronounced. It really helps too with the lifting. If you are somebody that wake up with puffy eyelids, puffy eyes, this is a lifesaver and I'll show on the tutorial on this video how this immediately give you an eye lift and the puff the eyes. It helps the dark circles because it really increases the circulation on this area here. So if you have a lot of congested area, it really helps. It uses an eye import. They help to transport the molecules deep into the skin so that way you can get even better results from your current skincare. It also has LED light therapy, both red light in blue light and these are the wavelengths so it goes really deep on your skin but the way this device is designed the light never goes into your actual eye so it's very safe to use on the eye area which you can always just hold 10 seconds on each area and that is great because you're also infusing red light therapy in the eye area which is something that you usually don't do so have an LED light that I can actually really go into the real eye area and the eyelids is very very unique since most of my masks the eye is not included or the panels you usually use goggles to protect the eye area I love that you have one device and many different modes that you can use you can use the vibration with the thermal technology and the LED lights together by putting your finger on this metal part and when you touch the skin you can hear the vibration but you can also take your finger off and just hold the white part and now you, do, you no longer hear the vibration. So you have those two options. So if you don't put your finger, you will only be using the LED lights as well and the thermal therapy and not the vibration, which is great. You can choose to do the vibrations first and then just use the thermal setting, which is the one that builds collagen. Another great thing about the Venus is that you can actually use around your lips as well. Whenever I'm done with my eye, I put either the eye cream on the border of my lips and I just go around it as well and to be honest my husband actually noticed my lips are being looking more plump and that's the only thing I've been doing that's different than anything else that I've been doing so you guys let me know if you've seen my lips getting plumper um, throughout the months and as you get older guys it's very normal to have little lines around the lips and this has been helping a lot I'm not using the actual lip self but all around it and I'm finding that my cupid's bow it's been looking more plump. Obviously, this is not going to give the same effect as a lip filler, but my husband did notice that my lips are looking a little more fuller. He was asking what I was doing, and I have only been using the Venus. So that is another bonus from using this device that you can also use on your lips. Now I'm going to give you some tips to get even better results from the Venus. The Venus can be used with any of your eye creams or serums, but I find that it works a lot better if I do a serum before, which I usually love using a serum with Argeriline, because again, this helps to relax the muscle with the sonic pulsations to give you the Botox effect. So if you add this to Argeriline, which is an ingredient that actually helps to relax the muscle, give you a Botox effect, they work so, so well together. And again, the sonic pulsations also helps to push the ingredients inside. So using a serum that has Argeriline will give you even more of a Botox effect using with the Venus. I love the serum because it has a germline and also vitamin C and I'll leave some suggestions of serums on the description box below and when the serum absorbs you can use with any of your favorite eye creams and I feel like for me that gives me the best results because you're getting the serum pushed inside and the eye cream on top that this area becomes so hydrated and so plump is such a great combination. So for me, I like using with both a serum and a cream but you can totally use the Venus with just eye cream as well. I just like with the serum because of the slip so that way you can massage a little longer. Usually eye cream absorbs quickly so then you can just do the pressing motions which I'll show in the tutorial. But I find to me it works better just as a tip to do it together with a serum as well as an eye cream. I also like sometimes using with microcurrent gels like this this from your face they have good ingredients because just like the serum it gives you a slip that you can massage it more. And you're going to see on the tutorial that I really like to do this motion to lift it even more. So I find that it works really well to do that motion when you use a serum or a very emollient eye cream or even a microcurrent gel that has a lot of great ingredients because that really pushes the ingredient inside as well as give you that lift. And you're gonna see in the tutorial how to use the Venus. First, remove the cap. To turn on the device, you press and hold the power button for three seconds and you see the light will turn on. If you wanna switch between blue and red, you can either press the power button again and we'll switch to blue, press the power button once and switch to red, or you can also shake the device from red 
to blue. To have the sonic pulsations on, make sure you have your finger on any part of the metal part. The device will only turn on once it's in contact with your skin. So when you touch your skin, it will turn it on. If you take your finger off the metal, you only have the thermal therapy with the LED. If you put your finger, you will have the sonic pulsations. There are also two kinds of sonic pulsations. There's the continuous sonic pulsations with the red mode. And on the blue mode, the sonic pulsations are a little different. It's more like a pulsating mode. And I think the blue mode works really well for the puffing. To turn off the device, just press and hold the power button. Now let's get to the tutorial. The first tutorial will be the basic tutorial that will show all the moves from the manual. First, you dab your eye cream all around your eyes and you can softly massage it. This move is just sliding. You can do back and forth or you can just do slide out or slide out or back and forth. Make sure you have enough eye cream so it's not tugging. It should be just a nice smoothing motion and that helps to smooth out the wrinkles, helps to absorb your cream. Just hold on each area for about 10 seconds all around it. And that really helps with the thermotherapy, helps with the puffing. The eye muscle is actually a circular muscle. So this move really helps to go all around the actual eye muscle, which helps to relax the whole eye area. But I like doing that move actually first because I find that it helps to uh, spread all the eye cream as well as it helps again to wake up this whole area. But again, make sure you have enough eye cream. If you do this move last, you can add more eye cream and eye serum because you do not want to tug. You want it to make sure it's very, very smooth as you're going around. On the advanced tutorial, I will talk more about it. Now let's get to the advanced tutorial. On this tutorial, I'll show you more advanced moves as well as how to do the treatment around the mouth. By using this advanced techniques, you get even better results for deep puffing and also eye lifting. Just woke up, so you can see my eyes are a little puffy. Now I'm going to show you how I usually do my routine, and this routine will help with eye deep puffing and eye lifting. I personally like to start with a serum because I like to have that slipped to really do the moves. That way, you can really create more of an open eye effect and help deep puff. But if you just want to use with eye cream, it's okay too. Make sure it's a more emollient eye cream. That way, the device can slide well for a little bit as opposed to tug. You do not want to tug, and I'll show you both techniques. And you can use any of your favorite serums. I'm going to put on the lower part of the eye as well as on the top. Make sure you press and hold. I'm going to start a, f a couple of times just around using the red mode and the vibration. About 10 circles. Now I'm going to switch to the blue mode. So I'm just going to switch to the blue mode. I like the positions of the blue mode better for deep puffing. So I'm just going to hold here. You can hold for 5 to 10 seconds. I like to hold for 2 cycles of pulsations. So that. Now I'm going to switch to the red mode and I'm going to just slide the device from here just to do a little bit of absorption, especially since this one, the serum I'm using has argyroline. That's why you need something really slippery so that way you're not tugging. And then I do this move here for the crow's feet and you're also infusing the serum ingredients into your eyes. Now this move, guys, really helps with the lifting and you guys are going to see right away. I'm going to have on the red mode first and I'm going to hold the device this downward. So that way, especially if you have hood lids, you can go really into that skin that's really hard to get with microcurrent or even other devices. So you tilt your head a little bit, like if you were putting a, a mascara, and you put it, you start in the corner, and you slide up and hold for 10 seconds. Go to the next part, slide and hold. 
and make sure your finger is on the metal part. Go again here, slide and hold. Slide and hold. And here in this little corner, it's very important to go right in the corner as you pull, slide and hold. Again, slide and hold. Slide and hold. Slide and hold. Slide and hold. And you can do this for a few times. The more you do it, literally you're gonna see how lifted the eye looks. At one time I actually did one eye and I didn't have time to do the second eye. I went to sleep and then I woke up with one eye lifted and the other one not lifted, which is pretty funny. So the eye lift does last, but you have to continue using to really see the best results. Can you guys see already? It's really lifting the eye compared to this one. Another move that I like is the same move, but you do it with the blue mode. And that is really good, especially if you have puffiness in the morning. So you go, same move, slide up, make sure you have your finger into the metal part. Facing down, you can just hold it here, like that. I find that this really helps with puffiness. And I don't know about this, uh, something about this vibration that also really helps with the lifting. But I like using both the red and the blue when I do this move because I really find that it gives me the best lift. And I hold for like two pulsations. And as you find the serum starting to dry out, Make sure you don't tug it, just kind of hold on the position. Can you guys see how much more lifted this eye is? And again, I'm only doing it for a few seconds. You do the same moves with the eye cream and it really, really helps, which we're gonna do it right now. And I'm gonna show you the final results. This is great, guys, if you have hooded eyes. This is an amazing move. Now that you can see that the eye serum is almost all absorbed, you add the eye cream. So I'm gonna just turn it off briefly so I can add the eye cream. You can add any of your favorite eye creams. So you put a little bit on your finger and then you just dab around your eye and eyelid. I like adding a lot of eye cream because I like having that slipped. But I find that the eye cream absorbs a lot quicker and that's why I like starting with the eye serum. But once you add that, you can just either press like this, so then you have your eye cream more spread. And then again, I'm gonna start with the red setting, hold it, and then just go around it, just a little bit around, just to spread the eye cream. And this helps to really infuse it. And then I do the same move, erasing, the wrinkles and the crow's feet in here too because I have wrinkles there but if you don't have wrinkles there just just kind of do this feathering move anywhere you have more pronounced wrinkles especially dynamic wrinkles I find that this really helps to relax the crow's feet and you can also do this motion here which goes really close to the eye eye itself, and this move really helps with the eye creasing, especially if you use concealer to smooth out those under eye wrinkles. And here you can do this move here too, like windshield wiper move, to just have the cream absorb a little bit. So I do just do this for a few seconds, and then a little more erasing, and then I focus on the actual lift, which I start with the red mode, Press, put your finger here on this bottom part and have it angled down. And then go up and hold. 
up and hold up and hold Again, I don't know if you guys can see, but I'm sliding. I'm not just pressing. I'm sliding, pressing, and holding. So you are actually creating the lift. I'm not just pressing. I'm sliding, pressing, and holding. Hold exactly where you want your eye to be. So slide, press, and hold. Very gently, not tugging anything. Can you see how lifted the eye is, guys? And again, I'm not doing, it's been like just a few minutes, not even a lot. You can just press it in and you can continue doing to get even more of an eye lift. I'll do it now with the blue mode, which gives it a different vibration. So angled. And the cream is already absorbing, so you don't have to slide so much, but you can hold on the lifted position. Yeah, the eye cream is almost all absorbed. So I'm gonna turn it off for now. Just press the eye cream in. Hopefully you guys can see how smooth it looks and lifted and also deep puffed, especially if you compare to this eye. Let me stop you for a second. I love it. It looks so good and very, very hydrated and plumped. So now I'm going to go this other side here. Going to always start with the serum. I'm putting a lot of serum because I want a good slip for the moves I'm going to make. About 10 times, just to kind of wake up the eye. Then I go and I do the swipey motions. You can do them back and forth. Same thing for the eyelids, windshield wiper motions. And now I do the feathering move, which is, if you think about it, it's kind of like erasing the wrinkles, especially the crow's feet. This is great for crow's feet. And I have wrinkles down here, so I also do this feathering motion because it is with the sonic pulsations, it's helping to relax the actual muscle as well as smooth the wrinkles. If you have more of a crow's feet, you can spend more time here on this motion. It really helps to relax that muscle. This tutorial is a little bit of a freestyle tutorial. I'm gonna show you the moves that I like the best. And then you guys can choose the moves that you wanna spend more time with. But I'm just giving you a general idea of the moves that I usually do and the techniques that I've been developing. And go really close to the eyelash. This one really has helped with my eye puffiness as well as the creases, the little wrinkles I have there. Okay. You can do a couple more here. And I'm going to add more serum because it's already drying. Before I add more serum, I'm going to do the deep puffing move that I like, which you change to the blue setting. Keep your, uh, keep your finger on it. And then you start from, you can start here or anywhere. And I hold for two cycles. And on the side. That's my favorite pulsation mode for deep puffing. I 
Okay, now I'm going to change back to the red mode. I'm going to do the, the move that swipes and holds. Again, hold it as if you were putting mascara on. That's the best way to see if you have a mirror. That way you can really... Oop, red mode. That way you can really feel the lift. This is the move if you're really concerned of eye lift, if you have aging eyes, if you have hooded lids. But do the slide so you're kind of pulling the skin gently and holding it up. So you are sliding, move, and hold. Slide, so you have to have enough slip there, guys. If it's, Don't hug on this area. That's why I like to use it with a serum before, or you can also use it with an eye cream that's very moisturizing and emollient that doesn't dry so quickly. That way you have room to work this move in. It's, it's just very gentle, but I am sliding up. I hope you guys can see. It's a very gentle, slow move. And then I end at the end, at the lift. Seriously find that it reaches better the skin that I need lifting than any tool that I have. Because it's gentle enough for the eye area and it doesn't harm the eye at all. <clears throat> it's not like a laser or anything that you cannot reach too close to the eye. So it's a move, slide, even here I'm sliding. I'm just always moving up and sliding. So I'm never just holding it. I'm always lifting and then sliding and then I stop at the lift. I still have a slip so I'm not tugging the eye. If you find that your serum has dried and you see tugging, add more serum or eye cream. Can you see now how it's matching this eye? So now I'm gonna add the eye cream. But again, if you just wanna do the same moves with just eye cream, it's up to you. I find that I get better results when I do both. So put your eye cream. Just to spread the eye cream, I kinda do this a couple of times. This move helps to smooth the wrinkles as well as absorb your eye cream. So you can do this a few times as well. This mode here, think of it as just erasing your wrinkles, especially crow's feet. And I have wrinkles down here, so I do this move to help smooth them out as well. Spend as much time with each mode as you want. Usually it's four minutes per eyes. So I'm teaching you the moves, but it can be freestyle. If you need to spend more time on this area because you have a lot of wrinkles here, you can do this. Or you can just spend a little more time here if that's what you like. Or my main concern is all of them, so I just kind of alternate. So I do the infusing of the eye cream first, so make sure it goes really deep. Now I do the blue mode which is just holding for two intervals, which helps with the puffing. This particular tutorial, I do like using both the sonic vibration with the thermal therapy, because I find it works really well together. But you can always just do some of the modes with just the heat setting. But if you're looking for eye lift and uh, the wrinkles moving, you have to use the sonic pulsation. That's what really helps to relax the muscle. But if your concern is just eye sagginess, you can just use it with the LED and thermal therapy. But I like having that because it really helps to deep up my eyes. I'm gonna do the red mode, which does just the sonic pulsation, continuous sonic pulsation. And again, I'm gonna hold my eye, slide and lift. Slide and lift. Slide, lift and hold. Slide, lift and hold. Slide, lift and hold. My eye cream is almost all the way absorbed. 
so I'm not tugging, but I'm just sliding less than I normally do. But that's why I like either using a very emollient eye cream or doing the serum first, because I feel like with the serum or with the any microcurrent gel that has good ingredients, not just the don't do with ultrasound gel, because you want to be pushing things in. So either use your serum or a microcurrent gel, that way you can really lift your eye if you need more of a lift. If you don't need a lift, then you can spend less time here and do and spend more time with the other modes. That's what I like about this tool because you can just do whatever works for you, whatever moves you like better for your results. Now let's do the lips tutorial. So you can put the eye cream around your lips. And I would choose the red mode for this. The movement is basically this one and you kind of go around the lip and you can spend more time on in any area that you have more wrinkles. I do find that this really helps to plump the lips, guys. And I've been using whenever I do my eyes and I find that I have seen my lips looking a little more plump. I'm really focusing more on the border of my lips as opposed to the actual lip area. Hope you guys see that. And I usually do it until my eye cream is absorbed. So I don't spend that long on it, just until I see that the eye cream is fully absorbed. So this is the final result. This is the before and after for the immediate results after doing this advanced tutorial. You can see on the first photo, my eyes are really puffy because I did this very early in the morning. And on the after photo, my eyes are more lifted, deep puffed and more open. And you can also see that my lips are plumper from doing the Venus around the lips as well. With this advanced tutorial, you will see immediate results as well as long-term results with regular use. And this is also really great to incorporate with your other tools. You can totally use this with your microcurrent to get even more of a wide eye effect, especially if you're hooded eyes. That's probably going to be great to combine this because this already gives you a lift and affirming. So if you add that with lifting your muscle, is going to be great but by itself it definitely gives you a difference which i really really like this is the only thing i've been using i have a lot of tools as you guys know but whenever i test a tool i stop the other ones so i've been really impressed with the results that i just got from the venus so i can tell you that this definitely works and i highly recommend let me know if you have any questions on the comments below i love hearing from you guys thank you so much for watching i love you guys so much i hope you're healthy and safe and i'll see you next time bye